Tailspan plans to do even more safety tests for cars right here in Buffalo thanks to its new multi-million dollar crash test facility. News for Shannon Smith is here after she got a sneak peek at the building and tonight she joins us live in the studio with how this is different from the old facility. Shannon? Don, regardless of what kind of car you drive, chances are it was tested for safety at CalSpan right here in western New York. The new $20 million facility means more cars, more crash tests, and more jobs. CalSpan plans to hire about 50 people. But officials say the new building is a look towards the future and the impact their work has on keeping us safe. As airbags deploy, glass shatters. It's all about the impact. For people like CalSpan, that impact goes far beyond the very crash tests they perform. We take pride in the fact that what we do here is very important work. It saves lives. CalSpan will be able to run 500 tests a year for national and international car manufacturers thanks to the new $20 million crash test lab on its campus in Buffalo. This is state-of-the-art equipment. It allows us to test in indoors. The building has two main crash Crash halls that can test cars against barriers, walls, and other cars. An underground rail controls a car's speed up to 75 miles an hour. There's a big piece of concrete right here that the car can go uh, impact on. Even the test dummies have been upgraded. Some have human-like ribs. The photo pit here has cameras in the floor to show what the crash looks like from underneath. I think that we're at the dawn of a, a whole new era in terms of uh, our transportation, how we get around. This facility also opens a new lane for non-traditional car makers to join the game. We can have a lot of secrecy in here and have clients in here that really don't know. People don't know they're here and they can test their prototypes. So that's a big difference. Another difference, crash testing for the future for cars without drivers and even steering wheels. Something John Yurchuk says is on the horizon. The technology to avoid a crash is really the future and the ultimate expression of that is cars actually being driverless. Yurchuk says this is just the beginning to show the greatest impact CalSpan continues to have on safety. Now, crash testing at this new building is expected to start next month. As far as the old outdoor facility, that's now being used to crash test barriers and see their ability to protect people and buildings from, and buildings from cars. In the studio, Shannon Smith, News 4 at 10.